Hello crafty friends, it's Erica Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am coming on today with a Hobby Lobby haul. Finally had a chance to run in there and um, pick up some more Easter goodies. Um, I was enabled by Armin, who is Happy Mail Queen, and Bona, who is Live Love Scrap. They shared the new Easter Bunny gumball machines, and I knew that I wanted to pick at least a couple up, so that's what I went in there for, but of course I had to browse the entire store and see what else I could find. So let me share uh, what I picked up. Um, let's start with this little, little bookcase embellishment. It was 40% off. Um, Easter and I just thought this tassel with the little beads was super super cute and it reads bunny kisses and Easter wishes so I'll definitely use this for Easter decor this year and then these are the gumball machines if you have not seen them super pretty they're coming out with like every themed uh, gumball machine I feel like for every season so I picked up the white one and then I also picked it up in blue I just really liked those colors. They did have it in pink, but I didn't love the pink color, so I didn't pick it up. Um, so I grabbed those. And then I also grabbed these really pretty houses. And they're porcelain houses with an LED light. And I just thought, how pretty is that? And I totally feel like you could use this at Christmas time as well for decoration. And I loved the glitter top of the house. So I picked this one up in like that really pretty light green. And then I also picked it up in the pink glitter and I haven't even tested it out. I guess I can pull it out and see. Oh, there it is, ta-da. Look how pretty that is, love that. And I guess I can take this one out too so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but I think that's adorable. So I'm so happy with this purchase. And again, Easter is 40% off and it was $8.99 and it's 40% off this week. So make sure you take advantage of the sale before Saturday because that's when it will end. So I grabbed those two and then moving along, um, I, it's still in the Easter section. Um, I did pick up some Easter sprinkles and I just thought those were really fun and I could totally use them on sugar cookies, but also in shaker cards. And then I also picked up this fun mix as well. It's mini confetti, and I just really liked the colors in this one. And again, same purpose, could use it in shaker cards or sugar cookies. So I grabbed those two. And then I did grab this mini spatula set with the Easter egg, and it says Easter egg hunt on the back. They had a couple different ones, um, but I thought this one was cute. So I went ahead and grabbed that because I wanted to do one of those um, what is it like a hand mitt like gift for like Easter um, to give to somebody so that's why I picked these up I thought this would be really fun to stick in that little set um, that I have in mind and then um, I also picked up this Easter bunny I feel like I have one of these uh, from last year I'll have to pull out my Easter stuff but I went ahead and picked up another one of those for decoration um, I also picked up this Easter um, wooden uh, pieces that they have and it reads jelly beans, Easter, and hop. So you get three different words. Oh, and bunny uh, in this set. I thought that was cute. And then I did pick up another bag of sequins because we can always use that. And it's also fun to gift. And I found these flat back eggs. There's 10 in this pack right here. And then I also got some of these glitter eggs and there's 25 pieces in here. I thought those are pretty and I'm sorry for the glare. And then in the paper studio section, I did find these little um, Easter buttons. It's a six piece set, but I thought they were so pretty. Um, they weren't on sale this week, but I just grabbed them anyway. They were only $2.99 and I thought these would make really cute um, bow centers. So that's why I grabbed those. And then moving along back to Easter, I did get this little wooden sign that says everybody welcome. Again, I'm gonna use this in my kitchen for Easter decor. And then I did get a couple of wooden stamps. These were on clearance. I got Meow, and this one says, so very thankful. I thought those are really cute. And then um, in the jewelry section, I did get some um, supplies for resin. So I got these little mini cups and stir sticks, which I thought would be really useful. And I picked them up, not because I'm doing resin resin crafting right now, but I do like to do it and it was 50% off. So I went ahead and took advantage of the sale and grabbed some of those uh, while they were on sale. And then I also got some of the um, little wooden sticks to stir the resin. 
And then I also found these little miniature um, spoons that you could also use to mix resin. Um, so yeah, I grabbed those because they were on sale. And then moving along, their spring baskets were 40% off and they have them in different colors and I just am in love with this really pretty blue. So I did get three of these and I got one of the larger ones. They do come, I think in three or four different sizes um, and lots of different colors, but this one was my favorite. So I grabbed three of those and then I did get one die set. I did get this um, butterfly die set. I thought it was so, so pretty. Um, and this is a Jin Long card and it's a butterfly. Look how big it is. So I wanted to try that. And then in the, I did get some foam. I got this um, glitter foam because I thought it would be so pretty to uh, use for um, Easter or spring crafting. And if you're not following Mommy and Me Crafts, Patty, she just shared a really fun tutorial on how to make foam flowers using the new flower die set that's in my online store, ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Make sure you check that out because she made some really pretty foam flowers. And so I'm super excited to try that with this foam right here. And this foam is 1.5 milliliters. And I'm so sorry if you hear noise in the background. I have people working in my house today, so I do apologize. All right, I'm gonna move along. Um, I did get this really large, it's a double-sided multi-craft carrier, and you can store things on the front and on the back. So there's an opening on this side and up here on this side. And I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, it says it's ideal for like spools and bobbins and threads and that kind of thing. So I may organize like my red, my my thread and ribbon and stuff with this container. I'm not sure, but you could totally use it for something else if you wanted to. And it's a pretty uh, big size. It's, what does it say? 10.25 inches by 3.25 inches by 14.25 inches. So it's a really great size organizing um, case. So I grabbed one of those and the organizing, well, I believe Paper Studios was 40% off. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these. I just love the fun colors. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in, put in these um, yet, but I'd like the fact that you can pull them out and they each have their own little compartment super cute and you get two of each color i kind of wish it was like all the same color or maybe just like two of the colors but i don't know i went ahead and grabbed it i thought that was kind of fun and then i did grab another one of these storage cases because i am constantly trying to organize and put stuff away so this is always useful so i did grab one of these and then what else did i get let me see. I think that is it. That is my Hobby Lobby haul. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. If you have any questions, just ask. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.